Good afternoon all. It's winter so I thought I'd bring out my big analogue winter project because uh, I tend to work on this when I'm not working on things like solar. This is the vocoder and it's powered up. You can see we've got power on the power supply. I'll just grab the microphone and if I talk into that you can see that uh, the bar graph is going up there. So that's all good. Now where I left this last year, well probably sometime this year, was that this power supply, um, which you can no longer get on eBay, doesn't really have enough grunt to power all this electronics and it kind of squeals. So I'll do a recording with it connected as it is and then I'll try and implement a solution and we can compare the two. Right, there's a shot of the power supply and I'm powering this from this connector. That's going to the lithium power bank. 12.6 volts uh, should be about what's going in. A little bit higher than taking it natively off the batteries because that would result in probably only about 11 volts going in there. But I'm working the camera around to what's on this tripod because I've bought myself something new to use with this project. And it's this thing, it's a Zoom H1N, it's uh, Zoom make these audio recorders and this one is kind of bottom of the range, but actually it's working quite well. Uh, I was using this cheap thing, which although it kind of works, it's a pain to use and actually one of the biggest problems, it's very slow to start recording and it also doesn't feed through to the headphone socket. Um, when it's in standby mode. This does, and in fact you can probably see the bar graphs uh, climbing up there. Now I can listen in on my headphones here so that I know exactly what's being recorded. Uh, there's no speaker in here so you're not going to hear anything. I'll uh, overdub on the edit all that this thing records and this is really good quality recording. I think that says yeah 44.1 kilohertz 16 bit WAV so it's going to be good quality recordings. I'll dub them into Movie Maker. Let's hope Movie Maker doesn't screw up all the audio. Okay, let's start. Now I'm going to switch on the recorder and for my information, when I start that going, Zoom treble zero three. So file number three uh, for when I do the overdub. Okay, here we go. So if I speak into my microphone, and get a good signal level here. Incidentally, I found that the zoom recorder with its uh, vo uh, volume control at about halfway works with all the volume controls on here at about halfway. So that's nice and easy to remember. So what I'm gonna do is turn down, oh, I should mention that of course the first thing you're gonna hear, it's rather unavoidable, is the squeal coming from this power supply. Now I've identified that it comes from the negative 12 volts the positive 12 volts is a buck regulator. So that's taking my 12.6 volts in and taking it down. Probably not gonna get much more than about 12 volts from that, but the negative one has to flip that voltage round and it clearly isn't very capable and it's struggling. And I think I measured it yesterday at 10 and a half volts. So yeah, it's not coping very well with all the load. Now I've put my finger on uh, various chips on here. They're all cold apart from these transconductance off amps Which get quite warm because they're current controlled devices So I think this is where all the current is being taken, but let's just listen to this thing vocode I'm just going to slightly lower the microphone level and start bringing up the uh, vocoder section so that's uh, the tone so the spectral content of my voice is uh, controlling the spectral content of, it's just a square wave oscillator, and I can raise the frequency of that oscillator, and I can lower the frequency of that oscillator. Uh, if I turn down the oscillator, and now turn up the noise generator, this is a, a digital noise uh, linear feedback shift register circuit, then now my voice is modulating the noise um, that's being fed into the input of this section. So the vocoder all works, all the sections work, 
but the main issue now is power supply and I'm going to attempt to solve the power supply problem um, by taking most of the load off it, particularly these three um, analysis and synthesis sections which I, I know do draw a lot of current and the way I'm going to do that is, and I'm gonna, I think I'll do this live actually so that you can hear it, I'm going to unplug this plug. Now the way this works is that these boards have a 3-pin JST so I can put um, plus and minus 12 volts from one of these distribution boards into these and the idea was these seven connectors at the bottom would connect to these but if this power supply isn't powerful enough to drive these I've got to find another solution. Now the reason I'm able to not use these JSTs at the moment is that plus and minus 12 volts actually comes up this ribbon cable. When I was designing this thing it didn't occur to me <laughs> that this is where all the current would be drawn and actually feeding there will be seven of these boards in in the final design there's only three at the moment feeding it through well it would be this cable and then up the ribbon cable just isn't a very practical solution so let's start another recording going i'll put my headphones in and start the recorder this is file four okay let's talk into that now if i disconnect this yep like that then the i'll turn up the microphone so you can hear me so the analysis synthesis section is now completely powered down so all that we're getting through this output mixer um now how does this oh yes ultimately it comes out of this jack plug through this stereo splitter and into the voice recorder all that we're getting now is the direct feed from the microphone preamp um, and you can see the level of that from this bar graph Incidentally, there's a tone control on the microphone so I can have more bass or I can have more treble but somewhere near the middle works quite well now I hope you can hear and I don't quite know what that background noise is there is a fan running uh, down near my feet to blow warm air around the workshop the power supply is now not struggling and the sound is pretty good so what I really want to do is power these boards with a completely separate power supply and so and this is a rather temporary solution I've made this it's lots of batteries in fact these are only eight-way boxes so uh, these being 1.2 nominal that's 9.6 so we've got plus and minus 9.6 and my little distribution system down here I had spare circuit boards because I tend to get five of these made uh, by JLC PCB so I made another one and I've got three of these cables so I can power these three boards with an entirely separate power supply and it's a clean one there's not going to be any noise on Eneloop batteries so let's connect that up Right, I've got three JSTs here uh, to go into the, mm, that one should go there really, shouldn't it? To go into these three boards. There's an inner loop. Why won't that go in? There's an inner loop not in its socket on each of these battery boxes, so it's not actually live yet. I'm getting quite a bit of RF in my headphones here. Oh, you won't be able to hear that at the moment because I'm not recording. So let's get these three power supplies connected up. Like so. Okay, I'm going to start recording and then I'll put the inner loops in. Okay, so press record on my recorder. File 5, it looks like. Uh, so you should be hearing this now. Let's speak into the microphone. Like so. Uh, I'll just lower slightly the microphone level so that we can hear the vocoder which is on this pot here right let's put the batteries in will there be a clunk ah no I haven't connected that cable I need to talk about that just one second so when I first set this up I did think maybe I'll just put these batteries on these batteries um, with the power supply to sort of lift the power supply a bit 
But it didn't work. They fought each other. There were all sorts of nasty squealing noises. So in the end, what I did was I cut the plus and minus 12 and grounds out of this cable. So if I connect with this connector, plus and minus 12 runs up this ribbon cable and into these boards. If I connect it with that connector, only the audio connections are made and it doesn't receive power. So I'll connect it up with this. Let's just lift. I can't do that at the moment. Uh, can I see what I'm doing here? Not very well. Right, that's got the audio coming through. Right, let's go back to um, recording on the Zoom. Right, start another recording. Press record on the Zoom. This is file six. Let's get the microphone. Okay, so we can hear my voice low because I've turned that down. When I put power to the vocoder, that's negative 12 volts. That's positive 12 volts. Yes, now we can hear the uh, vocoder doing its thing. Let's turn down the uh, noise generator. And now you can just hear the pure microphone. I can have that at a louder volume or a lower volume. Let's turn up one of the tone generators so that we can now hear the vocoder doing its thing with a tone. Let's bring up the other tone generator so that we've got two tones merged together. That sounds a bit messy. Let me just see if I can tune these. I'll turn these right up. Right, let's turn them down because that'll be very loud. So that's um, two oscillators at the same frequency. Yeah, it's a bit um, messy, isn't it? Let's turn these down to a lower frequency. I'm not sure if they're going to be uh, at the same frequency as each other. But uh, yeah, that's the vocoder doing its thing, taking the uh, spectral content of the microphone through what is effectively an audio spectrum analyzer and feeding that into what is effectively a voltage control graphic equalizer and modulating the spectral content of whatever's going in here either a tone which is that one or oh no sorry that's a shape Leave those pots alone and turn these ones down. So either a tone coming through there or noise, which is the other alternative source. <coughs> now there is another input um, on this, which I don't have the board for at the moment, where you can feed uh, a music source in so that you don't just have to have noise or tone. Uh, you can actually, no, that's the microphone, <laughs> that's the frequency. You can actually have uh, some music coming in from, say, a synthesizer or something like that. But I think you can see, uh, let's turn that down and turn my microphone up. Yes, I think you can see that with that power supply not under strain, the sound is much cleaner. There is some background noise. I'm not entirely sure where it's coming from. Possibly my lithium power pack. This was all laid out in the office earlier and it sounded different. There were different uh, interference effects. It's strange out here. It's, it's just different for some reason. But no squeal from there. Nice clean power supply from these uh, Eneloop batteries and the whole system works. So certainly looks like what we need uh, let's go back to a bit of vocoder, is uh, a much more effective, power-capable uh, power supply. I'm getting a bit of uh, distortion there. I'm not sure where that's coming from. But uh, that's the sound that the vocoder makes. With only six channels, it doesn't have a very uh, good spectral spread. Now, I am working on two more of these boards. 
which will give me uh, 10 channels in total. Let's take the frequency of that down a bit. Yeah, 10 channels in total. Perhaps I'll bring my voice up a bit. You may not be able to hear what I'm saying. And that should give a much better spectral spread um, set from the microphone and thus controlling the tone or noise generators. But certainly I'm happy that uh, I fixed or mostly fixed the problems of power supply. And actually I do have a new idea for a power supply for this project. And I'll introduce that in another video. But uh, for the moment, I'm happy that I've moved the project on. So, cheerio.